Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea. If you're new here, so as you can tell in the title, I'm going to be doing a video on luxury items that I regret purchasing. And I'm so sad to be having to film this video because, you know, when you invest money in items, like you want to make sure that you're going to love them forever. And sadly, some of these items I just don't anymore. So if you think that you'll be interested, make sure that you keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, so the first pair of shoes are actually my first designer purchase ever. These are my first pair of like designer shoes that I ever buy or think. And I think I regretted these almost like instantly when I bought these. <laughs> Not instantly, but like when I, as soon as I wore these for the first time, I was like, oh my God, what did I do to myself? So these are the so cakes, like I said, and these are just awful to walk in. Like if you have these shoes, I know you regret buying these because they are just, they hurt so bad. And I get a lot of comments saying like, you know, you just have to break them in. You just need to wear them around the house. And you know, I think, like, I'm not gonna lie, I know they're not broken in. I probably have only worn these like maybe four times. So I know they're not broken in. So that's probably why, but just getting to that step like these shoes are just brutal. So I obviously like I'm not gonna sell these because they do have a lot of sentimental value. My dad got me these for my 21st birthday and I'm just not the type of person to sell or you know give away things that are a gift because you know like I feel like that's personal. And these are like my first ever designer purchase. So they like they're very meaningful to me. So that's why I'm like, oh my God, like I wish I want, I, I want to get wear out of these because I hate that they're just sitting in my closet. Like I want to wear these more, but they just hurt so bad. I thought, I even thought about cutting the heel down, but I was speaking, um, you know, with someone that works at SAD, I'll ask him about it. And he said that it really just messes up the shoe and it'll never be the same. It really like messes up the integrity of the shoe. But yeah, overall, these are just really painful, but they're so pretty. Like they're so sexy on the shoe. Like, oh my God, like I love the silhouette, but they're just really painful. And looking back, I definitely wish I would have gotten the Pigal Follies because they still have like, they're still very sexy, but they're only 100 millimeters. And they're just not as painful. I've tried them on and they are just like super comfortable. So looking back, I definitely wish I did more research. And I'm going to say that a lot. But like now that I'm older and a lot of these items are starting to purchase myself. So, you know, if I'm spending my own money, obviously I want to love it. Um, I definitely am starting to do a lot more research when I'm starting to purchase. So, yeah, looking back, I definitely wish I would have got the Big Alfolies instead of these because, yeah. But I'm going to keep trying. So, the next item that I regret, and I'm actually thinking about selling this um, because I just, I really regret buying this. I don't know why I bought it. Uh, well, I know why I bought it. I bought it because I was looking for an everyday bag, something that was very casual and just, I didn't really have to worry, like, babying. Um, I really like that this one's nylon, so it's just easy to clean. Like, you just wipe it off and you know it's really it's, like, I don't have to baby this bag at all um it's it holds so much I was looking at reviews like I said I thought I was doing my due, dil due diligence and researching and things like that but I really liked how it, it hold a lot um it was super inexpensive I think I paid maybe like 320 for this so it's super inexpensive I was looking for an everyday bag it was super easy to clean but this just is not my style. Like, I'm just not a bucket bag type of girl. Like, I, I just like a more, I don't know, like a more, I, I wouldn't say I want a dressier bag, but I don't, I, I just never gravitated to the bucket bag. So, and this was something different for me. So I was like, you know what? Like, I just want to try it and just see how it is. This bag honestly just feels like a big black hole. Like, it's so deep, so you can fit so much, which, which is why I really thought it was a good item to purchase but it's like I'll, I spend so much time just looking through it trying to find things that it really can kind of be a little bit inconvenient especially you know if I'm getting home I'm rushing I didn't get my keys out and things like that like it's having to dig through like it's just not really that great um so yeah um, I am definitely thinking of selling this um I've seen these on a pre-love market and sadly they I pay like 300 and they sell for like $100. Like I, I, it's honestly not even worth selling to be honest, but I know that I'm not going to use it. It's going to be sitting in my shelf. So why not make something off of it? So yeah. Um, so yeah, I definitely plan on selling this and I'll probably put a link down in the description box on the selling link. I'll probably just use like Depop or something like that. My next luxury regret are these Gucci Marmont sandals and I actually wear these a lot, but I still regret purchasing these because I just feel like I definitely bought these because I felt like pressured inside the Gucci store. Um, they were the last pair and I was kind of looking at these, but 
I don't know, just for some reason, I just didn't make the purchase. And then it was like the last pair, I was with my friends, and they were like, oh my God, you should get them, you should get them. So I definitely felt like pressured. And I actually bought something else, and I, that's on this list too. So really that whole purchase, like that whole purchase that I made, I definitely regret it. But um, the reason that I regret these, like I feel like they're super like classic, um, and that's why I, I was thinking about getting these because they're just such a classic shoe. Like, um, I had the Gucci belt, so I was like, oh, that would be perfect to pair together. But they just are not comfortable. Like, they're made out of wood, so it's not like they have, like, um, some type of cushion or anything. So it's like you're walking on, like, wood. Like, it's hard. So walking long distances, it just hurts. And these are, like, slippery. Um, like, I don't know. Like, they're just really, like... I just don't like the bottom. I just don't like the material that they're made out of. Um, and I actually like the first time I wore these, I tripped and I got them messed up. I had like chipped this part, so I had to go to a cobbler and get it smoothed out. Um, so yeah, and then I got a 37 and they fit like really, really good. But for my sandals, I do kind of like ha to have a little bit more space. So honestly, like I wish I would have got 37 and a half in these so that's kind of something else that i regret getting and yeah just like um my other choice was to get the christian dior d slide sandals and honestly i, I kind of wish i would have just gotten them because i heard that those are a lot more comfortable or even like the hermes Aran sandals like there's just so many sandals on the market that are actually comfortable and like cute and nice that i could have gotten instead of these so I'm still gonna wear these. Um, I think that, you know, they're classes. Like, I don't plan on selling them or anything, but I definitely wish I would have purchased, you know, just more comfortable, a, a more comfortable option instead of these. Kind of going back with the Gucci Marma, I bought this in the sandals at the same time, and I definitely felt peer pressure when I bought these. Like, I was looking in the store, I was like, okay, I'm, I made a decision to purchase the sandals, and I just was looking around. I always was kind of like looking at this bag, like, oh, you know, it's cute, it's nice. I like the different ways that you can wear it, you can convert it in so many different ways. So, I, I like this bag, and I honestly just wanted to try it on. Like, I was not planning on purchasing it. And of course, like I said, my friends are really, really hyping me up. They were like, oh my God, Yandria, like you should get this bag. It's so cute. And it was like people that was in the store, like they were like, oh my God, it looks so good on you. Like they were just really, really hyping it up. And I was like, oh my God, like how can I say no to this? So I ended up purchasing it. Um, Like I wear this bag a lot too. Like I like to wear it um, just because it's super casual. Like if I'm running errands and things like that, like it really is an easy bag to wear. Like it's just so easy, but I just feel like I really didn't need this in my collection because I have so many black bags with gold hardware and I definitely want a variety collection. Like I want, you know, diff I want bags that are different colors, just different brands, different design. Like I don't want to just keep having the same thing over and over again. So the, the main reason why I don't, why I regret purchasing this bag is just like, I didn't need another black bag with gold hardware. Like I really didn't. Um, I really wish I would have gotten maybe the brown one with the um the cognac color because I really really like that. It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, I just wish. Why did I get another black bag? I don't know. <laughs> another pair of shoes, but these are sneakers. These are the Alexander McQueen, and I was really really into these shoes for a moment. Um, I think one of my like first luxury videos were a, another pair of Alexander McQueen, and I actually ended up exchanging them for these because those were like a glittery purple pair. I'm so glad I decided to get um a more classic pair because oh my god I definitely would have regretted those semi regret these like I think that they're such a classic shoe I'm so happy like I said that I just went with the white with the black because you really can't wear these a lot but I don't know I'm just not into like the chunky sneaker look anymore like I really appreciate a more like classic sleeker sneaker like I just don't like how chunky these are um I'm still gonna wear these because they're so classic and easy to wear I love to wear these like leather pants but I really love to pair of class um leather items with this I don't know why but I really like how it looks um but I just wish I would have purchased like um just something not so chunky and trendy um these were really really trendy last year so like you know obviously that kind of motivated me to buy because i just was seeing them everywhere and i was like oh my god like i love them but they're just really really chunky and i just i don't know i feel like they're not really my true style but they're still easy to wear so i'm not gonna get rid of them or anything so last but not least is and honestly i mean i don't regret getting this but i didn't know 
my collection was going to be what it is today. You know, like when I bought this, I was not expecting to get the medium. This was my first designer bag. Um, and like I said, I got this as a present. My dad got me this for my birthday. Already like a $2,000 bag. And he like, he really didn't even want to buy this because I was only supposed to get like the envelope bag. So, and I saw so obviously I wasn't even looking at the medium size or anything like that. But, you know, now that I've done more research and now I have the medium bag, I definitely wish that I would have gotten the medium size. Just did a comparison video actually on the medium versus the small. And I just wish I would have got the medium. Like, it holds way more. It's only, like, about $200 different. So, it's really, like, not really that much more. So, why not go to the medium? But, honestly, like, when I, I wasn't even looking at the medium. I wasn't even looking at the cape bag, to be honest. Um, I just went in the store and I loved it. So I really just bought that on a, on a whim. But yeah, looking back, I definitely wish I would've gotten the medium size. So yeah, that's really much the only regret. <laughs> Cause I really love this bag. Like I, I really do, but I just gravitate more to the medium because it just holds so much more. If you guys enjoy watching this Flesh Tree Regrets video, um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Play out the coupe in the lot, 12 fuck swat. Play out the coupe in the lot, 12 fuck swat.